Good day, friends, and welcome to another episode of Tanker Cad TV. Once again, friends, these episodes are designed to entertain and inspire, so let's get cracking. Friends, today we've got three fabulous ships from Biscuit Bird. They do have notes. I'm going to shut those off for a second and let's just take a look at this epic project that Biscuit Bird shared with me. Oh my gosh, love the different details. Check out the armament on these beasts, and they also come from three different countries. Of course, right now I'm going to turn on those notes, and let's see what was shared. Friends, the first ship we're going to check out is the Moskova. It's from 1979. Moskova translates to Moscow in his Slava class, which translates to glory. This ship was sunk in the Black Sea by Ukraine. Check out these missile silos, and I also love that bridge. As we spin back, it is powered by nukes, and it also held the record for most missiles in one boat. Check out that slick defense system, and note 250 people died when she sunk. This is not a memorial, but of course, pray for their families back home. The second ship that shared with us is the KMS Bismarck, it is from 1940. Oh my, check out the weaponry on this beast. You can see right here, it sunk the HMS hood prior to the British Navy. Winston Churchill responded with the order, sink the Bismarck. Here's a fun one. It used old tank cannons as anti-aircraft guns. What a wild fact. She was sunk in the English Channel by the UK. Really like the shape of this smokestack and check it out, we have got lifeboats, more of those cannons, and there are even seats behind the cannons. Nice details. And as we spin to the back, more than 2,000 German sailors died when she sank. Wow. The final ship that Biscuit Bird shared is the USS Texas. It is from 1914, and it was originally constructed in the 1880s. Whoa! The MK2 guns had a four-ton shell. That's an entire car. That is insane. Love the details on this bridge, and holy cow, it sunk half of itself on D-Day to shoot further inland. Whoa! Right here we have light artillery as anti-aircraft guns. It's also the first ship to have anti-aircraft guns. Once again, love the cool stacks. Notice up here, this was crewed by Marines. And as we move to the stern, it was the fastest super dreadnought in the south. And it is currently a museum ship off the coast of Houston, Texas. Let's shut off those notes and take a good look around once again. Three awesome ships created by Biscuit Bird. Biscuit Bird estimates that he's got between five and seven hours invested in these fun Tinkercad ships. He did want me to note that he did not create them to scale. Biscuit Bird, I absolutely love your designs, the cool details, and the facts you shared. Once again, thank you for sharing. Don't forget, if you keep watching, there will be details for how you could get one of your designs showcased on Tankercad TV as well. Friends, remember, if you ever make something awesome and want to share it with me, it is so simple. Click this button, generate a link, and then copy that link. And then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Of course, if those options don't work for you, don't forget you also have HLModTech.com. I have got the sweet webpage dedicated to Tinkercad. And then down at the bottom, a sweet messaging tool. You can add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, there are more than 400 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Please also remember we have the designer showcase with tons of amazing profiles. Friends, when you click on these, you'll instantly see the designs of all the users sorted by likes. I always like to remind you it's pretty cool to sort by recent. Of course, if you do see something you think is awesome, make sure you give it a reaction. 
Finally, friends, if you have something you think I should be showing on Tinkercad TV, don't forget there is a request a shout out button on this website. Of course, if you need a tutorial, it's included as well. Of course, friends, I do need to wrap up by saying thanks again to Biscuit Bird for sharing your wicked cool creations with us. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.